Are you, you're trying to tell me, you're thinking zombies did this. Yep. Hi everyone, thank you from Critic here, Jeff Rickey Howard, here to review The Dead Don't Die, starring Bill Murray, Adam Driver, Selena Gomez, Iggy Pop, uh, uh, Tom Waits, and, directed, and written directed by Jim Jarmusch. Uh, if you've seen the trailer for this, there's all kinds of buzz on it because, you know, when Bill Murray does a movie, it's, it's an event. You know how he works, right? He doesn't have an agent, doesn't have a manager. He has a phone number. And if you're a director or a producer or you have a project or something you would like to interest him in doing, you call and leave a message. And if he's interested, he'll call back. And of course, Jim Jarmusch got a, a, just an A-list of talent for The Dead Don't Die. And it's really a simple premise. It really is. Okay. The, something happened in the world. They're not explaining why the dead are rising. We're in Centerville, this really small town. And Bill Murray's the sheriff. Adam Driver is the, is his deputy. And the dead start coming out of the graveyards. And the movie is delivered with the most deadpan, dry as dust humor as you can, you can imagine. Okay. So when they see all these people starting coming out of the graveyard and walking the town, you know, Bill Murray, are like, Hey, isn't that uh, Jim Jackson over there? Uh, I think it is. Oh, I was at his funeral. Oh, he looks terrible. It's just the delivery is deadpan and just, it's his sense of humor. If you know Jim Jarmusch's film and if you know his style, you really can appreciate what he's trying to do. And he's taking the zombie horror genre and putting his sense of humor into it. And it's almost like one long joke. A couple problems with it though. First of all, I think if this movie came out like five years ago when zombies were hot, I think people have zombie fatigue. So while watching the movie, trying to separate the, you know, the zombies and, the, and the, the whole setting of the film, it just seemed like a tired premise. You know, from watching Walking Dead, from watching, uh, you know, Fear the Walking Dead, and like every, zombies are just everywhere for the last decade. And I just think, I, at least for me, I, I, unlike superheroes, I haven't had superhero fatigue yet, I've got zombie fatigue. So watching this, I couldn't understand where he was going with anything in the film. I really didn't. I wanted to laugh. I think I maybe laughed once or twice. I understand what he was trying to do, but I just think it just, you know, I was bored with the premise, you know, five years ago, maybe. The Dead Don't Die seems like a Saturday Night Live sketch that didn't know how to end. You know, you understand what the humor was, you understand what he was trying to do, but then you think, okay, after the first three or four jokes of what you know, they're standing there and just going, yeah, yeah, we should go over there. I think the, the dead are rising. What do you mean? You think the dead? I mean, they're, they're saying everything that's not shocking. Everything that's ridiculous that they're claiming or the things that's surrounding them that's going on, they don't seem disturbed by it. They just have this cover up dry delivery, especially Bill Murray, who's just brilliant at it. And the other thing is, I, it just, where it doesn't know to end and the jokes, they also break the fourth wall. So Jim Jarmusch, there's a time in, in one of the cop cars where Adam Driver is like, you know, he has a catchphrase, things, this isn't going to end well, you know? And Bill Murray says, why do you keep saying that? How do you know it's not going to end well? He goes, well, I saw the script. What? Yeah, Jim let me read the script. Well, he didn't let me. He only let me, let me read my scenes. You know, it's kind of like, okay, now we broke that fourth wall and it's, it's going to become like a real screwball comedy like, you know, uh, uh, Shaun of the Dead. And, and they do that a couple more times. So it's just, a lot of it just didn't surprise. I would watch it just solely for uh, watching the performances of the A-list actors, you know, from Adam Driver to Bill Murray. I mean, I appreciate the film. I really did. But I just didn't think it worked. It just had too many problems for me. But it's really bizarre. It's really a strange film. I was watching this going, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> you know, I know the director, but it's like, what the hell is going on? All right, for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. Check me out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and comment below. What did you think of The Dead Don't Die? Did it work for you? I'm Jeffrey Gay Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.